Josh March, congratulations on signing the contract. First of all, tell us what it means to you to get this deal done. Yeah, it's a bit of a relief to be honest. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of quite a short talk with the gaffer. I felt like I, after the last season I owed it a bit to the gaffer and to Leon. They thought they trust me in bringing me in January and after getting injured in March, I felt like I was a bit, bit gutted to uh, miss out on the promotion with the lads. But I was there in spirit supporting the boys and just hope I can repay them next season. Yeah, last week when the retained list came out, we saw you were still on the discussions on going list. What's changed between then and now? To be fair, I think it was pretty much agreed. So it was just getting like finalising the, the little parts of the deal. So it's just buzzing to get it over the line and I can settle now for summer, get myself back fit, ready for next season. As you mentioned, the celebrations at the end of last season were ones to remember. Obviously, you, you'd be celebrating as well, but from the sidelines, how was it for you? No, it's a bit obviously it's a bit gutty uh, watching from the sidelines. You want to be out there with the boys, but I'm just thankful the boys got it done. So I can be playing League One with them next season. And how much you look forward to League One next season? You, I mean, you've already been there before, and um, you kind of know what it's about. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Uh, wanting to be back there this season. That's partly the reason why I come to Stevenage to try and uh, do as well as possible. And thankfully, Stevenage went up, and I'm still here and can score a few goals. And this time last year when you were at Forest Green, obviously taking Forest Green from League 2 to League 1, what are the main differences in, in the divisions that you noticed? I think it's more physical, the game's a bit quicker, uh, defenders are bigger and stronger as being a striker, so I just think it's about uh, being one as a team and everyone sticking together and being on the same page. We see you here today at Bradbury End in the, the physio room just doing a few little tests. How is the injury you know, fully recovered? Yeah, it's coming along nicely to be fair, it's just... Like you say, finishing up a few ends, I'm nearly there. So hopefully before the first game of the season, I'm fully fit, fine for my shirt. And then come June, July, when pre-season fit, uh, comes back, all the players are going to still together. The, the club have done quite well. And yeah. keeping a core of the team, how important is that? I think that's the main thing. Less, uh, I think that, yeah, I think that is the main thing. So you want the core group still together and I think it creates a good vibe within the group and hopefully we can get as many points as possible and see where we end up. It's not long now until pre-season yet, and I'm sure the gaffer will get you running miles and miles again. Yeah, can't wait for it, but especially after being uh, injured for so long at the end of the last season, I'm actually buzzing, buzzing for the running, buzzing to be back around the boys. I'd love it, thank you, Josh. No worries.